right, for the next video I'm going to do the two LMGs so you've got the Bullet King and the Pestilence uh, so we'll start with the Bullet King so this poor one out for my bro if he used this he'd never have run out of bullets quote from the Bullet Queen it's got 850 RPM so it's quite quick 100 round magazine uh, very low damage compared to other LMGs but it makes up for it with a constant firing which you don't actually have to reload it because it gives you all 1080 bullets straight away um, it comes with LMG damage damage to target out of cover and critical hit damage uh, a talent bullet hell this weapon never needs to be reloaded for every 100 bullets that hit an enemy replenish some armor to you and your allies reserves so as long as you're constantly shooting the enemy then you're getting some of your ammo back especially works better on named and elites because they they take longer to kill um but it it does really help it it overwhelms and suppresses and um, with them with them as well so when you do an iron horse and you've finish the second boss and you run it on to the next bit uh, it helps you you can use it to overwhelm the snipers uh, it works in legendary for Roosevelt Island with the drones you can just pull it out and just constantly shoot at the drones and um, well, obviously while trying to avoid their fire and their missiles but it's useful in that situation as well so there's a couple of instances where you can use it um, it is as far as I'm aware, it can be in the open world, but you primarily get it from either Theo Parnell at the Tombs or James Dragoff at Wall Street, one of those two missions. Uh, I think you had to get it from either of those missions first before it drops in the open world. Uh, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments below. And moving on to the Pestilence, this is a DZ exclusive. It's got a higher base damage than the Bullet King. It's got less RPM, so 605. And again, it's got 100 in the mag. Uh, it goes with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, and damage to armor. And it comes with Plague of the Outcasts. Hits apply a buff, dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all stacks are transfer transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. So you can get up to you can get up to 5,000 weapon damage if you play it right. Um, and then when the enemies die, as I said, it transfers stacks, and they basically get a bleed effect. And from a previous video that I did a peasants building, you can see I will link it in the um, comment in the description below this video. But you'll be able to see that the NPCs bleed out without even without me even really having to shoot them, which is a really nice way of conserving your ammo. Um, especially with LMGs because they can spit them out and it can you can end up really low on ammo before you know it. Another thing with this gun is I noticed that uh, it's got a re it says it's 4.7% reload speed or 5.1% or there. However, I noticed it was actually a lot quicker in the build video that I'm going to attach in the description and finally going to quote you will suffer as we suffered from a former quarantine outcast um, as I said this is DZ exclusive it can drop in the open world if you're lucky um, but if you want it you're gonna to have to run the risk of the dark zone and try your luck I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gives you an insight into these two weapons. And I will catch you in the next one.